Hey, how's it going YouTube? Uh, in today's video, I just wanted to show you guys how to make a new virtual machine using Hyper-V. Um, I already made previous videos on Hyper-V if you guys have been following or if you have already subscribed. Um, I made a video on how to, how to enable Hyper-V on Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Um, basically, if you have the pro version of Windows 8, Windows 8.1, um, Hyper-V is a feature that's enabled on your computer already. It's it's not enabled, it's already there on your computer. You just have to enable it. So uh, if you guys haven't already enabled it, watch my video on that. It's a very simple process. And it's definitely a very good feature to have. It's basically a virtualization software uh, that's built into Windows. You don't have to use VMware and um, um, you know the uh, any of the other software that's out there, virtual PC and etc. Um, you could use Hyper-V directly. So in this video, I just want, I want to show you guys how to make a new virtual machine in Hyper-V. So um, to open it up, you can just go to Start and go to Hyper-V. Just type in Hyper, and then here Hyper-V Manager comes up. I already have it saved to the taskbar, so it's down here. Um, so as you can see, I already have made four virtual VMs that I have here, virtual machines. But I'm going to show you guys how to make a new one. So to get started, you all you have to do is just go to like you just right click over here, Hyper-V Manager or this here, and then go to New, and then um, go to New Virtual. It's a virtual machine. After that. Uh, you can just hit next on this screen you can read through that if you want um, and then uh, here in the name you want to enter a name for your virtual machine now the name is basically what what it's going to be named over here like this VM's name is client 3 this one is Windows 8 client 1 and client 2 so it's just the name of the virtual machine that you're you're giving for organizational purposes I guess so here I'm going to say uh, Windows 8 client Windows 8, um, 8.1 type void. That's the name I'm going to give it. And then here it says you can create a folder or use an existing folder to store the virtual machine. If you don't select the folder, the virtual machine is stored in the default folder configured for this server. Um, and that's going to be here C program data. Uh, slash Microsoft slash Windows slash Hyper-V uh, basically if you want if you don't mind saving it here then you can just leave it there if you want to save it in a different location uh, most people probably would want to save it in a specific location maybe where they save all their virtual machines and you when you're doing this you also want to consider how much disk space you guys have so like for example in this M drive I have I only have 1.7879 gigs left and uh, you definitely would not want to save a virtual machine there you want to leave use a disk that has at least 40 gigs uh, depending on the VM you're making but on average uh, 40 gigs is a good number so I'm gonna click browse and now I'm going to save it in a specific location so that's gonna be go over here and uh, over here in my NAS drive I have uh, my virtual machines and then here I'm gonna make a new folder and just call this Windows 8 tech void so Windows 8.1 tech void okay and then I'll hit select folder and then now I'm just going to hit next and here it asks uh, the generation of the virtual machine so uh, normally the any of the like traditional uh, machines like traditional OS's you're going to install you'll use generation 1 um, generation 2 is more advanced it's it's it says here guest operating system must be running at least Windows Server 2012 or 64 bit version of Windows 8, meaning my host computer, like my actual computer, it has to be that. And uh, 
for, for it to be running. I do have Windows 8, so that's fine. I can use Generation 2 if I want. And using Generation 2 has a has more features. It says here, this virtual machine generation provides support for features such as Secure Boot, SCSI Boot, and Pixie Boot using standard network adapter. Um, it's 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 a it's an added bonus here in Gen 1. It's just uh, here. This virtual machine generation provides the same virtual hardware to the virtual machine as in previous versions of Hyper-V. Uh, so Gen 2, if you can use it, you could use. It's better, like it's preferred. You could use this. Uh, generation 1 is just the traditional way. So for me, I have Windows 8 installed, so I can go Gen 2. Then we'll go next. Here, you want to enter how much RAM you're going to give your machine. Uh, Windows 8. Point one. I can't forget. I, I forgot what the sp default sp specs are that you need, but I'll just give it uh, one gig of RAM. You can also click here where it says use dynamic memory for this virtual machine, and it'll using dynamic memory will basically alter. It won't just use this amount. It'll use uh, the amount needed for the virtual machine at that specific time. So. If you're using your virtual machine, if, if it's a heavy load on your VM, then it's going to use more of your actual host OS memory. For now, I'll just leave it like this. Dynamic memory is a good option, though, if you want to use it. Then hit next. Now here, this is where you can configure your um, your network. And uh, here, in order to have networks by default, you guys won't have anything here unless you set up your network. I made a video previously on how to set up your lab network uh, you, on Hyper-V, so definitely go watch that video. It's a very simple process. You have to use the virtual switch manager here, and then you make make the connection that you want. So I have an internal lab network. This is just not connected to the internet at all, and this is just my internet, uh, the one that's connected to my actual adapter, and it's getting internet. So I'll use this one, and then hit next. After that, here it says creating a virtual hard disk. You have three options. You can either make the hard disk uh, like a brand new one. You can use an existing hard disk if you already have one. Uh, or you can just say, I'm going to use this, make a hard disk later. And you can attach it afterwards. So here, this is, normally you'll make a new hard disk if you're making a new virtual machine. So, um, give it a name for the hard disk it, it gives the default name that you had from before so that's fine and this is the location that we selected from before where I made that new folder in my Z drive Windows 8.1 slash typhoid and then it, this is the name of the VM here and uh, this is important right here you want to enter the size of the hard disk that you're giving this virtual machine uh, basically it's as if let's say we have a brand new computer a physical computer and you're giving it a hard drive so you want to enter how much gigs it's gonna have and uh, bear in mind this does uh, this dynamically takes up the amount of gigs like see I, I'm gonna give it 40 gigs it's not gonna take away 40 gigs from my Z drive right away it's gonna dynamically take 40 gigs as I use my VM and I install more stuff and I have more files in it it'll just take up more and more so that's why I'm I'm not worried as much even though I only have 37 gigs I'm giving it 40 gigs because by default it'll only take about 20 gigs at the start I think and then hit next and then here you can select the operating system that you're gonna install you can say you can install it later or you can select the ISO if you have an ISO select the ISO here so we're gonna hit browse and I'm going to go grab my ISO of my Windows 8.1 consumer preview this is what I downloaded if you guys watch my previous videos you'll know that I I did a tutorial on how to install Windows 8.1 on VMware so Windows 8 consumer preview windows blue 8.1 so windows blue is what we're looking for and then we're going to get the 64 bit hit ok once you get your iso hit ok you can select any iso i'm just doing this for the demo i can i have like windows 8 windows xp and stuff like that 
So I'm just using this for now. And then hit next. And then that's pretty much it. This is a summary of all the settings. Now that we have that set down, and then we hit finish. And now it's creating the virtual machine. After this is just done loading, I'll show you guys what, what I have set. Um, okay, there. Yeah, it's done loading. So let me move this out of the way. Okay. So now you can see that we have a new VM here. This is the new VM that we just created. Windows 8.1 dash tech void. And um, this, once now that it's created, all you have to do is you can right click and go connect. Or, um, to get it started uh, but before that I just want to show you guys the switch where it asks you for the network adapter I had created you just you can go new virtual network switch and then you can select external external means it's going to the internet internal means it's just within your computer not going to the internet and private means it's it's just within your VMs not even connected to your actual computer here uh, so that you just created it and then go but definitely go check out my other video that I go into it in detail so it's pretty simple for you guys to follow and uh, to get started just right click your virtual machine oh it opened over here not right click I just double clicked it sorry and then this opens up this is like a it's as if you're com connecting to this VM from uh, externally and then you hit start and now you can see over here it's saying starting and then it says succeeded and now the VM is starting oh and then it's asking if you it's set to press any key I didn't press it in time so let me just hit control delete to restart okay and then now I hit any key there we go so that's just how it is in any computer when you install the CD and then it asks you to boot from CD we hit in this case our CD is the ISO so um, in the language select the language that you want I basically this is just my VM that I'm using you guys can make any VM but that's that's pretty much the process now that you have it now I have you just had to double click it to open up this or you can right click it and go to connect right click go to connect and then it'll open up this window the virtual machine connection here and then you just you have these buttons where it says start, turn off, shut down, or save. Um, so if it's not started, then hit start, and then your VM will boot up. It's as if you're powering on your your computer, but it's a VM. And then uh, basically after that, you just go through the setup process of your actual virtual machine. And uh, I can close this window anytime. It's still running. Here it says running. I just can I can double click it and you'll see it connects back to the window again. If you want to actually turn off your VM, then you uh, then you can go over here and go to shut down, and it will shut down. Yeah, it's saying error because right now I don't actually have it. The system's not actually installed, so in this case I could just go to turn off, hit turn off, and then this is like I'm powering off my computer and then now it's off you can see it's off and if you want to turn it on you can turn it on again the same way I, I mentioned it from before so uh, yeah that's pretty much the process of creating your virtual machine on Hyper-V it's it's not too difficult um, but I hope I made this process clear for you guys and I hope it was uh, pretty simple to follow uh, if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave it in the comments below or uh, let me know send me a send me a message, send me a tweet, send me an email, I don't know, any way, <laughs> any way that you guys want, but um, I'm available if you guys need any help, and uh, please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, let me know what you guys think of this video, and give me suggestions for more videos, thank you guys, and uh, take care.